Hey guys, what's up? Take a look. So, this is actually a utility sink that I got probably six months ago. I got it for Christmas and hadn't had a chance to install it, but wife got it for me for Christmas. She got she was sick of me uh, washing my hands in the in the kitchen sink and washing stuff off in the kitchen sink, like parts and stuff. And so, pretty cool thing. I guess she got it over at Home Depot. Um, I had to buy, I, I just went to Home Depot right now to get the parts to install it, but so I'm right next to my dirty washer and dryer, so I wanted to put it right here. That's an old solvent tank that I have, I gotta clean off and gotta organize this garage, but so I was gonna take the solvent tank, move it, and then put the sink right there. So, all right, so one of the things I wanted to do was tie into the, uh, the existing water right there, and then uh, I wanna clean up all back here because I, I never get back here, you know, it's, it's, I mean, I haven't been back here in probably, uh, I don't know, eight years, six years, I don't know. I'm gonna tap into the actual plumbing too. I already pulled this off. This is the, the plumbing for this. I'll show you that, but uh, so I'm gonna assemble this, put the legs on, and, uh, I think it's like 64 bucks over at Home Depot, but got a sink to put in a faucet. All right, get it going. All right, I got the legs on. So this is not gonna be really a video about, uh, you know, putting this thing together because it's so basic to put together, but uh, more of like how I got it plumbed into my uh, water and, and sewage. Because I think that's actually the hardest part, you know, is trying to find a way to get this thing in there plumbed. Alright, so take a look back there. It's kind of kind of jacked up. At one point I had like a sewage block and the water was overflowing and that's what kind of messed up the drywall over there. But, the, I went, I mean I spent about two hours over at Home Depot trying to uh, figure out a way to get the water over. So I had this hose adapter. It's like a splitter. Which I'm going to split off there and then I'm going to use these things right here. Universal dishwasher supply line. It actually has all the fittings to adapt this to a uh, sink. But uh, yeah, I tried all these different ways with different adapters, and even though these were like seventeen dollars each, it would have cost the same pretty much with all the other adapters and pieces. So, um, all right. So the, the plumbing, the drain is actually going to be the harder part. So I'm going to have to get a tap into that line right there and bring it over here to where the sink's going to be. But I did actually buy some extension pieces, but I'll show you that once I. Get into it. I mean, it's not going to be a super clean job, but I mean, I want to be able to take this pull out if I have to. So, um, yeah, I was actually looking for a, like a long piece of flexible hosing. That's actually what I really originally wanted, so I could actually just pull this off and move it around. But uh, all right, all right. So first piece is this telescopic disposer kit. Trying to give me this T. It's going to give me this tap in here. Get that going. All right. So there's the T right there coming over this way and that's going to feed into the bottom of the sink about right here all right so yeah wrapped around like that it's going to cover that pipe over there like that. i got to do an extension piece i'm trying to get it to kind of keep it at a small angle heading downward at least very close to it all right see this pipe right here here's a Oops, things dropped here. So I'm trying to keep this thing at an angle so gravity will feed the water down to that pipe. There you go. That that would be actually level. So you can see the bubble if you can see it. That it's going downhill. Alright, now that I have the whole plumbing thing figured out, now I can just attach it and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna get the water going now. So I already have the uh, splitters on. It's gonna get the Alright, there are the water lines right there. So they were $17 per per line, but they had every single adapter I needed to make this work. So like I said earlier, I had priced out other different ways of doing it. And it actually was either the same price or more. And it wouldn't be as clean as this. So um, I'll put a link where you can get the, the hose if you want to do this. Alright, it's all plumbed up. Put the washer back, we'll do a test run. All right, so I have no clue what's gonna happen right now. That should be the hot water right there. I'm gonna be looking for leaks here. Cold. Checks for leaks back here. Oops, see any obvious drips? Let's see. Okay, that's opposite of what it should be.
All right, cool. Back in business. Uh, cold. Got my new cherry bomb hand cleaner. So, if you watch my other videos, you know that I work on cars a lot. And uh, every time I'd go into the the house sink, man, like just washing the grease off my hands would just totally get the sink black. So now I can actually wash parts in here. Got some new um, scrubbers. Got the uh, cherry bomb hand cleaner. I already said that. All right, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully this gives you guys some ideas on how to do this. If you're wondering how you could do this. But yeah, I just tapped into my water here and drain and water. So pretty easy. Like I said, the expensive, most expensive part was the, the hose thing at $17 each. So that was like 35 and probably about 50 for the plumbing and the uh, water. So all right, guys. Cool.